My name's Tom, this is The Enthusiasm Project, and today, get ready, because I'm going to show you how to install a glass bed on the Monoprice Select Mini 3D printer. Installing a glass bed is a super cheap, simple, and easy upgrade for your printer, and it really might help improve the overall quality of your prints. In my experience, the biggest benefit you get from printing on glass is that you have a completely even, perfectly level printing surface. Now this was actually my second 3D printer. My first 3D printer was another Select Mini. And this printer I loved straight out of the box. It gave me perfect prints. So immediately, like within three weeks, I had ordered a second printer so that I could do more printing. This is what hooked me into the hobby right off the bat. Now when I ordered the second printer, the results I was getting were not nearly as good right away and I couldn't figure out why. And then I realized it's because the print bed was actually a little bit concave. This one, the first printer I ordered, had a much more level, even bed. So what that meant was that no matter how I leveled the corners of the bed, since the middle was kind of concave, there was nothing I could do to fix that. My prints were always gonna have issues. And I figured this would be a good chance to learn how to install a glass bed, which I had heard lots of good things about. So I've been printing on glass with this printer for over a year, and I've had great results with it. To install a glass bed, you only need a few things. You need an eight x 10 piece of replacement clear glass. I got this one at Home Depot for about $1.50. You need two regular binder clips. You need a glass cutter. This I also was able to get at Home Depot for about $3. You need to print a Z axis spacer for the Select Mini. I'll link to the Thingiverse file for this print below. Since the glass changes the height of the bed, this clips on the Z-axis to accommodate that and make up for it. This print is super easy to install. It doesn't require any disassembly or parts. It just clips right in very, very easily. You also need just a regular glue stick. Now at first, the idea of cutting glass was really scary to me, but it turns out it's super, super simple. It kind of feels like something that shouldn't be able to be done, but it takes no time at all. Anybody can do it. On the Select Mini, you just need to mark out the size of the bed. Now I strongly recommend that you cut the corners at an angle on the new glass bed to give you access to the leveling screws. This will let you level the bed without having to take the glass off and it's gonna make it much easier to get accurate level prints. And so I just recommend drawing where you wanna cut with the Sharpie, then take the glass cutter and score the glass, basically just kinda of etch in a line. It makes a really horrific, awful sound that I'm sure you're gonna love. And then you can use the glass cutter or even just your hands, definitely wear gloves and just pop the glass apart and it will give a nice clean break. Now I'm not a glass cutting professional, these are just the instructions I found that I've used that work really, really well, but of course use common sense and make sure to do everything you can to keep yourself safe because you are, you know, cutting glass. After that you just need to install the Z-axis spacer, clip on the glass bed, and you're ready to go. Now one of the challenges that can come with printing on glass is print bed adhesion. It's very easy since the glass is so slick for the prints to just kind of pop off and slide around. I've had a number of prints get ruined this way. I really recommend just using a glue stick to help your prints stick to the bed. You don't need to cover the entire bed, just the area where the print's gonna be placed, and then just put a nice thin layer of glue, let it dry for a second, and it'll be ready for the print to stick to it. And when it's time to clean, just some soap and water will wash the glue right off and it'll be good as new again. So I hope that was a quick and easy lesson to install a glass bed on your Monoprice Select Mini 3D printer. You can obviously use this method on any 3D printer, but the size of the glass, the size of the Z-axis spacer might need to be a little bit different. Thanks so much for watching. I hope that was helpful. Make sure to hit the thumbs up button. Ask me any questions you may have in the comments below. And if you haven't, please be sure to subscribe to this channel so you get new videos and live streams every single week. I will see you guys next time.